there are 250 million cars, trucks, and motorcycles packing America's streets, and an army of thieves looking to steal them. America's police are locked in a game of cat and mouse, filled with car chases and hot pursuits. Law enforcement is reaching out to companies and their state-of-the-art devices. Science, computers, and leading-edge technology are transforming the way police apprehend car thieves. Every year, as many as 10,000 law enforcement professionals come to learn Pursuit Tech. A pursuit is very dangerous. If you've ever been in one, they're very scary. High-resolution plasma screens and advanced software create a complex virtual environment that demands an officer's full concentration. While inside the simulator, an officer must simultaneously manage a fully functional dashboard. Uh, the gear selector works, the headlights work, and the police emergency equipment works, sirens, side lights, side alley lights, and overheads to uh, best simulate the environment for the officer. While some technologies make it easier to catch car thieves, too many devices can complicate matters for an officer trying to apprehend a suspect. As a former police officer, I've had to use a steering wheel with one hand, talk on the radio with another, work a computer, hit different buzzards, flip switches for my uh, siren, turn my radio on and off, and still be in control of my vehicle. So police departments across the U.S. are turning to a new consolidating technology to rid their cars of clutter, a system called TACnet. Alert three. Alert three. Turns on your lights and sirens. Alert off. Alert off. TACnet, short for Tactical Network, shifts a multitude of separate systems from the dashboard to the trunk including the controls for lights and sirens, the scanner, radios, radar, video, and computer system. Technologies that allow a police officer to focus on the road can help bring a dangerous encounter to a safe end. That's definitely true of another technology there's a hunter in the sky above, unhindered by the dark, a hunter with infrared eyes. The Columbus, Ohio Police Department has a small fleet of helicopters armed with a system called FLIR, forward-looking infrared. Infrared is not in the visible part of the spectrum, but what's invisible to human eyes is clear as day to FLIR's camera calibrated to precisely detect the infrared section of electromagnetic spectrum. The camera displays a video image to the helicopter's co-pilot. The more infrared radiation an object gives off, the brighter it appears. And unfortunately for car thieves, their bodies are infrared-emitting machines, spewing radiation in the form of body heat. All right, we got one. With 1.2 million cars stolen each year, auto theft is a nationwide problem. This car has some pretty neat bells and whistles on it. What we've got here are license plate reader cameras. The license plate recognition technology, or LPR, literally takes a picture of every plate it encounters and can determine if the vehicle's been stolen in a fraction of a second. A huge advancement over the old method. You hear all those beeps? It's picking up plates on either side of us right here. Cars coming towards us, cars that are parked on the side of the road. It all starts the instant a car passes one of the LPR's cameras. Like this minivan. Two pictures are taken. A color picture for visual identification and an infrared picture. That infrared image travels to the computer located in the trunk. A series of sophisticated software programs first identifies the position of the plate on the image extracts it and breaks the plate into individual characters. Number and letter recognition programs determine what each character is. The plate number is then compared against a database of more than 300,000 vehicles of interest. And if a vehicle's plate matches... Whoa, there we go. We got a stolen right there.